for a time being, forget everything you thought you know about AI. LFMs or liquid foundation models are here, more powerful, more versatile and more efficient than anything you have seen before. So what are LFMs? Liquid foundation model. LFMs are a new generation of generative AI models created by Liquid AI, an MIT spin-off. Liquid AI's mission is to build capable and efficient general purpose AI systems at every scale. Liquid AI builds LFMs from first principles, similar to how engineers uh, design and build engines, cars and airplanes. The name Liquid it refers to the company's foundation in dynamics and adaptive learning systems. Now LFMs are large neural networks built with computational units deeply rooted in the theory of dynamical systems, signal processing and numerical linear algebra. This unique blend allows Liquid AI to leverage decades of theoretical advances in these fields to enable intelligence at every scale. Now there are various advantages of using LFMs as opposed to the typical conventional AI systems that we know or LLMs that we know. LFMs they can achieve the state-of-the-art performance in terms of quality at each scale be it in 1 billion, be it in 3 billion which can run on edge devices and be it in 40 billion parameters we are going to test this out on their platform these models even though smaller size have outperformed other models of similar size and even some larger models in various benchmarks lfms have a smaller memory footprint compared to the transformer architecture especially for long inputs you know this allows them to process longer sequences on the same small hardware. LFMs can effectively utilize a longer context length up to 32k tokens. Not that impressive as of now, but this is just one, the basic, the starting model, and we will see the future looks very bright. So they utilize a longer context length of 32k tokens compared to other models of similar size but effectively if you compare with other models of similar size it has a good context length of 32k tokens this enables them to perform long context tasks like document analysis and summarization and come to think of it you know one day we are talking about llms but who knows in the near future we would have another models we have another technology which would enhance the learning process of the models you know super fast models super fast learnings and accurate outputs just like a human it's very difficult to forecast it's very difficult to believe that just a year or two we LLMs could be totally obsolete. We won't be talking about LLMs and this channel won't exist. But this channel will talk about other important advancements and numeric, numerous advances in the AI field that we have been talking. So let's not focus on whether it's going to be LLM or LFM. There are going to be models and we need to use that to make our lives easier. Anyway, I'm drifting. So LFMs are designed for efficient inference, uh, allowing them to run on a variety of devices, hardwares, including NVIDIA. We have support for AMD, Qualcomm, Cerebras, Apple hardware, you name it. They have general purpose AI models that can be used to model any kind of sequential data. So it's not just about language. It's not just videos or audios or text or they include even time series they can include signals low frequency oscillations in the electrical grid there are so many use cases uh, as i'm an electrical engineer i think there are so many use cases to just use llm if you know llm are not that great in for those use cases 
but if LFM uh, comes out, gives a positive reply on that note, that's going to be interesting to use in other domains such as electrical or mechanical or electronics. That is going to be fun. Now, talking about the architecture of the LFM, a liquid foundation models, these are composed of structured operators that can be adaptive and can serve as the subtract for AI at every scale. And Liquid AI imagines, reimagines the model architecture with LFMs, but moving beyond generative pre trained transformers or GPTs. They utilize the feature known as featureization which is a process of converting inputs into a structured set of features or vectors to modulate the computation within the model. They use adaptive linear operators, which is computational units whose action are determined by inputs. Now this approach allows liquid AI to systematically explore the space of architecture to maximize performance with control computational requirements. Okay. So, what are the strengths in terms of strengths and we're going to look uh, at the video here uh, and we are going to test it out in terms of strength uh, we see that it has general and expert knowledge it has uh, knowledge about mathematics and logical reasoning of efficient and effective long context task because it has 32k tokens for a small model Multilingual capabilities of English, Spanish, French, German, Chinese, Arabic, uh, Japanese, and Korean. And that's pretty great. Although there are many strengths, since this is just a base model, there are a few weaknesses that we might see. First is the zero-shot code task. So it's difficult for the LFMs to code as of now. The second task it fails is precise numerical calculations. Well, anyways, the LLM doesn't have that capabilities as well. Next is time sensitive information. Next is counting the number of hours in the letter strawberry, in the word strawberry. So those are the tasks it could fail and they have limited preference optimization. So it is not, you know, not uh, tuned for by the process of RLHF, so reinforcement learning for human feedback, that process has not been done for the liquid foundation models, which means these models are not yet fine tuned for uh, the human. And, you know, even though it's fine tuned, it's not given that human alignment or human preference, human alignment. So that's the thing that you should note. Now, as a matter of fact, uh, if you don't use RLHF, it could spit out some bad results or which are not good for the community or, you know, violent, uh, for example, violent outputs or, you know, for example, how do you cook meth? So if it gives a reply, then could be serious consequence discussing on one side. But let's look at the other side. If you just keep the models, you know, accustomed and uh, inside the box, it doesn't have that capability it doesn't get that freedom to work on introspect on the data and come up with new things even though those could be bad per se for a model you know atom bombs are bad too drugs are bad too but um, liquid ai is currently offering uh, early access to lfms for enterprise and researchers interested in exploring their capabilities and uh, now let's test out the model but before that liquid ai is hosting a product launch event on october 23rd 2023 at mit in cambridge ma now this video is sponsored by fireship.ai's fireship.ai brings together top ai platforms including gpd chat gpt for ai conversations Claude for advanced language understanding, Gemini for innovative AI insights, Dal E for AI powered image generation. Now, with Fireship AI, you get access to all these tools at a more single, affordable price. So, just pay for one and use all these. You don't have to pay for four subscriptions and more tools coming in.
But that's it. Let's get back to liquid foundation models and test this out. So we go to try liquid by liquid and it will be greeted with this. We say get started and the greetings. How can I help you? What is the capital of India? The capital of India is New Delhi. Write me a short story. Let's see. This is pretty fast. And the short story is pretty great. It's pretty fast. We have other options of selection of different models. So right now we can test the 3B and the 40B. The 3B is best in class language models that runs on smaller devices. And the 40B runs on a one or two GPUs. Now this is huge. This is pretty fast. You can test this out. If you're interested in getting to know the latest advancements of OpenAI using Notebook LM and their podcast style where two AI agents are having conversations, then watch out this next video and I will see you there.